Hey guys, what's going on? This is Dice Squad. My name is Marshall Dice, known as Adam Campbell. Todd Evangelista, General Dice. And we're here today to talk to you about Origins Game Fair 2015. And That's right, I'm excited. Uh, we're going tomorrow. We are going tomorrow. This is our big pre-show live coverage because we're going to be there starting tomorrow all the way to Sunday, bringing you interviews, demos, you name it, we're going to be there, and we, we, we just can't wait to, to get started, can't we? That's General. right, I'm, I'm all set. I have, uh, I have everything, uh, we have everything lined up. Tell, uh, well, first of all, let's, let's tell them what Origins is. Now, some of you may have been living under a rock for the last 40 years and not have heard of Origins Game Fair. I know my mom was. <laughs> <laughs> and what we have is a, a convention that's set in Columbus, and for it used to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And during that time, you can play role playing games, board games, miniature gaming. There's a. And new this hall. year, new this year, they're bringing anime to mm -hmm. Origins Game Fair, which is a new big thing. But they also got right. the board, the video game room. The video game room, which I've never seen. And you, the, well, you had to find it. The one time that you you found it with uh, Destruction Dice or whatever his name is. Demo Dice. Demo Dice. <laughs> and and you guys won the big tournament. That's right. We had there was a big retro video game tournament, and mm -hmm. we had my Demo Dice won a five pound bar of chocolate, <laughs> and I won a uh, lab coat. It was pretty cool. I really wish he hadn't opened that in the hotel room. But in any case, we we should say a little bit about how we got how we got involved with Origins. I got involved with Origins. I saw an ad in the back of a Knights of the Dinner Table comic book, and I talked to my friends and said, "Let's give it a try. It's only such and such, and we'll just go down, drive down Thursday only. If we like it, we'll go back maybe on Saturday and see how we like it." Big mistake <laughs> driving down. <laughs> it was because. We drove down, we loved it on Thursday. I was like, well, when are we gonna go back? Well, let's go back every day. And so we drove down at 6 a.m. every day. We'd get up, drive two hours, go to the festival, go to the convention, do stuff all day, and then drive back for two hours, and then do it all again the next day. But it was okay because we had a contest that involved crossword puzzles. So we ended up doing all the crossword puzzles in the car, and we loved it so much we said, we're going back every year. So I've been back every year, and we learned our lesson, get a hotel room. And if you want to try it though, you know, drive down on a Saturday, do it. If you like it, maybe come back on the Sunday, or you know, just make a note to come back the next year. And you can do it very cheaply for one day. You just get a, a $2 ribbon to go into the exhibitors hall and walk around. You can't play any games, but you can uh, get demos and well, all kinds of stuff. You, but you can get demos. Mm -hmm. They got all these board games they can play in the, in the dealer's room right. for free. Uh, they have an author's area where you can talk to authors, meet people. They have the guest of honors. Mm-hmm. That's right, that's right. And the guests of honor have been fairly interesting over the years. Well, I know that when I, I started going in 2012, mm -hmm. uh, it was Will Wheaton and Felicia Day. That's right. Starting off. I was almost allowed to look at them, but instead I had, I was a little late, so the person guarding them put their hand in my face so I couldn't look at them. But one day I vowed to look at both Felicia Day and Will Wheaton. That's my goal. Don't you also have another story about a sweater? <laughs> I did. I did once buy a hoodie there. It was only forty dollars, but it was so cold in the in the convention center that I just had to have it. <laughs> and that's another thing. It's going to be maybe ninety degrees outside the convention center, but inside you can count on a brisk sixty-two. <laughs> Well, I know it's 50, 50 degrees outside right now, so it maybe it, that's warm. Yeah, maybe you can actually not have to change from the outside to the inside, but who knows. Anyways, we have to talk about some things that we're going to be doing there. That's right. We're also, aside from doing Dice Squad stuff, we're also representing Boar's Head Games there, doing some great mm -hmm. games there. I have Pokemon Master Trainer, which I'm going to be running, along with Boss Monster. and General I'll be Dice doing uh, Roll, Roll for the Galaxy and also two space-themed uh, role-playing games. One, Race Around the Solar System and The Haunted Asteroid. 
So the should haunted be, asteroid. Should be nice, yeah. You play Scooby or Shaggy. No. In space? In space. No, no. It's going to be a little more than that. <laughs> But we'll like see. Zoinks, I'm man, this asteroid's I'm, freaking I'm wondering me out. if people won't, if didn't sign up for it, that, that maybe you know from this podcast we'll see more people come to see my come to my game and play in it because they, the people who looked online thought it was about Scooby and Shaggy in space. It's not. <laughs> who knows? We'll see. Will there be Scooby snacks? I don't have Scooby snacks. Maybe some Twizzlers. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, not only that, we're also going to be doing some live interviews with some great people that we well, we had a chance to get in contact with. Yeah, that's with. right. We're going to be doing. We're going to be interviewing uh, Chaos Mosque of Mirror Box Games, Bin Fa, the Tao of War from All Said and Done LCC. Mm-hmm. I'm interested in that one. Yeah. We're going to be talking with Stone. Didn't Blade. they wait? The Tao of War didn't that just go on Kickstarter? That did just get that just get funded on Kickstarter. We're going to be getting a free copy of that. Good, good, good. good. Uh, we got Bad Beat from Stone Blade Entertainment. I have heard of that one, yes. We got Corey S. Kamer of The Witchborn. And I apologize if I got that name wrong. I, I think I, I think, I think, think we had a demo or something of Witchborn along, somewhere along the way. That name seems very familiar. You and mean I'm, for Dice Squad or do you mean for... I think we were walking around and we just got a demo of it or something or somebody was telling us about it. So, so this Was that the, is that the game at I'm not Groundhog sure. Day? I'm not sure. No, no, that's the witches. That's okay. different. That's, All right, gotcha. That's that's a big name. This is. I remember this being a, a nice little little game. So. All right, and we also got uh, Leah Culleton. Again, once again, if I apologize for that name being wrong, of uh, Haba. Mm-hmm. Not Abba. No. Haba. 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 Haba Games, and they're very they're very big in Germany, and they do a lot of children's games. And it's really nice to see them d- having a bigger presence in America because a lot of their children's games are excellent. And to have them now translated in English and to come to our country and to have some good games that families can play, parents and their kids, that's going to be great. Uh, and then we have also, we forgot to mention, Boar's Head Games are doing things. They're going to be running some role-playing games, some old-school Dungeons and Dragons. They're going to have the giant size Agricola in the board game room. Ooh! And we should talk about that a little bit about the when you get into when you get into Origins, the first thing you do is you sign up and you get your badge and this wonderful book. And they'll give you a, a swag bag. But one of the things in there is going to be a coupon book. And now, hopefully, the co- the coupon book always includes the origin die, mm-hmm. and we have a, a we have one for each year. Mm-hmm. And then you can take that to the Chessex area and get your origins die, and they have the option for you to buy uh, a set of dice for the whole for the for the year. Like so, you could have a six sided or a ten sided, mm-hmm. everything. And then you can also look in there, and there's a place called Barley's. It's right across the street from the convention center, and if you present them with the coupon, they will give you a pint glass with dragon on it, usually. The dragons are coming? The dragons are here? I'm not sure. It might, it might be a rocket ship this year. We're not sure. We'll see when we get there. You never know what's going to happen at Origins until you get there, but definitely take a look at the coupon book, and you know, you got some pretty good deals out of there. 20% off this, 20% off that. Well, and off there's that. also a bunch of coupons for the dealer's room, mm-hmm. stuff like that, as I you got, mentioned. I got $5 off concept last year, and you never know what you're going to find in there. And so take advantage of that. Then see the exhibitor's hall. It may not be open on Wednesday. It'll probably be open on Thursday. Uh, about noon, then they'll and then they usually stay like noon to six, something like that. Take advantage of that, and when you're not at the exhibitors hall, go ahead and go to the board game room. It's gigantic. Yep. And there are several areas in there, but one of the areas will be the miniatures. Mm-hmm. So you can go in. Maybe you're not playing miniatures, but Take a look at all the stuff that people have built in their models. One year was the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy and all of the battles. One year it was the Battle of the Five Armies. And then 
last year I saw a lot of, you know, World War One, World War Two, um, you know, Flying Fortress type games. And you never know what you're going to see there. Car Wars? Who knows? You had, you had a great game of Leviathan, as I recall. Ah. Uh, that you... You didn't quite finish, though, did you? Um, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> and, but then you can also go the, to the LARP area. There's the, uh, there's the role-playing area. Those are all the way on the other side of the convention hall. The collectible cart area. Oh, collectible card game area, if you're into where, that. Where Polka Dice and I will be battling it out in the tag team tournament for Pokemon trading card game. Oh, really? You, you guys got in that? Uh, okay. Yeah, we got in that. Well, and Terrific. we should also mention, we forgot to mention, that... Many of our ranks are going to be there as well that we've accumulated throughout the year. Mm -hmm. There's going to be Latrine Scrubber third class, Andy Hop. Yeah, and he'll be ha he'll have uh, probably his own booth and selling his uh, different artworks there, and you can see him and his two kids. Right, and also Super Dave, Super Dice, Super Dave, Super, Super Dice. Dice. Yeah, he's going to be there, and he'll be probably in a booth with uh, Ancon promoting Ancon. That as we just well, were at. As well as he'll be promoting uh, Mayfair Games, which is very nice. And if you go to, Mayfair has their own room where if you buy the Mayfair ribbon, you'll have all uh, access to all the Mayfair games that they have in their library. But more importantly, at 8 o'clock, quesadillas will be served. That's, if you're there that's at 8 o'clock, it's not official. You can yet, yeah, I think it is. I think it, it was last year and the well, year the, the, before. This is this year, though. The only thing is... See, if we promise these people quesadillas and they show up, and then all of a sudden they're going to be like General Dice. What the heck, man? If enough of you show up, they will not be able to deny you your quesadillas. But, see, two years ago, they didn't put a lock on that door to get at the quesadillas. And then last year I found out, oh, no, you have to have a ribbon to get the quesadillas. So. Well, see, now, now that's why they're not going to have them this year. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Well, and also, Dr. Pepper also <laughs> was available. Well, also coming Friday is going to be our, our master of all creatures in the battlefield, Polka Dice, James mm -hmm. McAwee. Yeah, he's going to be there. And if you see us, either uh, either the uh, Marshal or myself, just say hi. Just, you know, give us a high five, whatever. That's great. We, we do autographs. We do, uh, we'll, we'll give you some words of wisdom. General Dice is full of them. I'm full of something, that's for sure. In any case, uh, but don't be, don't be afraid to say hi. It's just, you know, we love to meet, we love to meet our fans. And uh, right now we imagine that we have about 50 to 30 of them. And we'd love to see all of you at the all of you at the convention because we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to do this without our loyal fans to help us out here. Saturday is a big day. Saturday's a big day. Everything goes on costume contest. Everything that's on right. Saturday. And also cosplay is a big thing at, at mm. Origins. Not as big as like some anime conventions stuff like that, but it's still prevalent there. And then Sunday, I believe Mayfair will have the big raffle at 2:30, and uh, I think my friends have a couple of role-playing games on Sunday as well. So we'll see how that goes and you never know when you get to origins just don't try and make it anything just leave your mind open and see what happens because we never we, you know you and Mike you never knew that there was going to be a video game tournament well and then you won that huge console well in the famous words of director dice who is behind the camera here that I learned these magic words half of life is just showing up Mm -hmm. Because you'll never know what you can do. And for me, that's all I do, is show up. <laughs> that you do, General, that you do. Well, we got to pack our bags, because we're going to we gotta hit the road and get to Origins Game Fair, because all these things are going on this whole week. But And we have some very important decisions to make. What t-shirts do you bring, and what day do you wear each t-shirt? That's important decision making. Well, all that and more, but... We gotta stop talking because we gotta hit the road, General. That's right, we gotta get out of here. Roll on out of here and get to Origins Game Fair 2015. But That's from all of us right. Here at Dice Squad, this is Marshall Dice, known as Adam Campbell. Todd Evangelista, General Dice. And we'll see you at Origins Game Fair 2015. See you guys. <laughs>